Hello, it's me, Tanil J, and I'm back with another look on this gorgeous girl, Nat Soul. We were inspired by Pamela Anderson, but we made it our own, did a burgundy vibe. So first off, I prepped the skin with all my skin favorite skincare products, the Magic Cream by Charlotte Tilbury, that's the eye and face cream, the Lip Delicious by Mecca Cosmetica, and then I'm going in with the Silk Canvas Primer in the center of the face, using my base brush and buffing that in, because I want a kind of semi-matte finish to the skin. Then I'm going to go in with the Billion Dollar Brow Powder. I really love this color. It is the shade Torp. And it's really good just to have a really kind of natural brow look. I'm just loving brow powders at the moment. And I'm going in with my little Define Liner brush. It's really nice and fine. And it's a synthetic brush. So you can get it really nice and thin. Then I'm going in with the Swatchcraft Got To Be Brow Gel. I'm using the Lang Low MAC Paint Pot. This is such a great color. I find for my eye primers, I like to use one that's closest to the natural skin color. I don't like to go too stark. I just feel like it looks really unnatural. Then I'm going in with the Hindash. This is Hindash, I think that's how you say it. Eye Tone Pencil. This is a really beautiful brown, really nice universal brown color. And I'm taking my little lip diffuser and define brush and just kind of blending that in. I'm creating my, my shape, the shape that I want the eyeshadow to be. I always love this. It's going to give you much more of a color payoff with your eyeshadows. And it's just, yeah, a really, I've been doing this technique for so long. It just feels so natural to me, but just try it. And you can always, if you stuff up, you can just wipe it away. So once I blend that out, I'm going in with the Natasha Denona bronze palette and I'm using the shade Magma and I'm using my little detailed blender to really get in there and get through the crease to build that color up. And I'm going for a maroney kind of eyeshadow base today. We were inspired by Pamela Anderson and when we looked at the kind of inspo, everything's very like um, gray tones and they're black, um, but then she's got this contrast with her beautiful blonde hair. So for Nat, we thought, wouldn't it be cool to do maroon? And she had this really cool maroon latex shirt. So I thought a really cool monochromatic look would be thick. And I, th I thought, yeah, the maroon was really nice as well with her brown eyes, which is gonna really accentuate them and make them pop. So again, I'm just blending a million times over using my detail blender to build the color up. And then I use my all over eye blender to kind of blend it off into nothing. And, and I, again, love to focus on that inner corner of the eye. As you can see, I'm just going in with more, really, really building it, really, really, look, you just gotta keep on keeping on. Now I'm doing a little bit of tight lining just on that waterline using Dip Down Gel Liner by MAC. My favorite brown gel liner. It's just a really, it's a true brown, you know? Sometimes these brown liners out there are just, it's, you might as well get a black eyeliner because it just doesn't give enough brown. So I love that one. Add that to your kit. It's a really, really beautiful color. So now I'm going in with that paint pot again using the shade Lang Low and I'm going to do like a little bit of a cut crease moment just sitting underneath that crease um, using my lip definer brush. This is the define end um, and just really kind of creating some contrast in the eye because I want this to be an all matte look on the eyes. I don't want to use any shimmers because I want it to be really kind of 90s and I'm sure you'll see as I do many more tutorials. I love the 90s vibes. 90s but make it modern, of course.
popping a little bit of the mascara on. This is the Essence Mascara in the lash, false lash effect. Um, I'm a bit random with my processes. Sometimes I'll put mascara on right at the end. Sometimes I put it halfway through. At this point, I was like, I just want to see how dramatic the makeup look will be once I add the mascara. And then I made decisions on when I'm, when, whether I'm going to add eyeliner. At this point, I was like, yeah, let's add a little bit of liner just to define that outer corner of the eye. So I'm using the gel dip down liner by MAC, of course, going back in there. And I'm just focusing the eyeliner on the outer corner. And I'm using my Defined Liner brush. Of course, I love that brush. It's so thin, so good for applying liner. Okay, now I'm going in under the eye using that same eye pencil as before, the Hind Ash one. And I'm using my Lip Diffuser brush um, just to kind of blend that underneath. Now this brush is a lip brush. I Well, I created it for lips, but you can use it for eyes as well. Because that end is like, it's great for application and blending. And then the other end is like, almost like a mini concealer brush. Um, so it's really good for like, those cut creases and that sort of thing. Okay, now I'm going in with some lashes. I found these off Amazon. Really great. They come in, they have all the mid sizes. So there's like 12 mil, 11 mil, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, whatever. So really, really great to build like a really nice full lash. And um, I'm really focusing on, again, like probably more length throughout the whole lash with this look rather than normally I like to do more of a winged kind of lash but I've kind of gone for a full lash which I feel like is a little bit more 90s. At this point I decided I just want a little bit more um, depth and darkness on that lash line so I'm using the Clay Cosmetics um, their eyeliner. This eyeliner is so epic honestly so beautiful. The tip is one of the best tips I've ever used. So for my contour, I'm using the Fenty Matchstick. This is in the shade Truffle. Love these products. They are just so good and they've become creamier with their new formulation. I love them. So the shape I'm creating is I want really highly structured. I'm not gonna be using any blush in this look because I want it to be really kind of about the eyes and the lips and kind of be very flat and matte because that is the vibe of the 90s. Um, and I'm taking this bronzer a little bit further down, probably how, if I was to do male makeup and contour um, a man's face, this is where I would contour. So I would make the bones really stand out and almost go down around the mouth. So that's kind of what I'm doing for this look because I want it to have that really strong striking kind of effect. Okay, so now I'm going in with the Pink Honey Nose Contour. This product is so good. I didn't even realize I needed this in my life. It's just so handy to have a little product like this. I'm using it down the nose and I'm also doing it just in the center of the lip. Again, when I do lips and I do any lip contouring, I really like to focus on the center, um, expanding the center, not the sides of the mouth. And I'm using my little crease and apply brush really great for blending any creams around the nose it's also a really great brush to apply like shimmery eyeshadows I'm also taking that pink honey nose contour and I'm actually going to put it underneath the eyes and I really like to thicken it up right in the inner corner of the eye in that area there that's going to straighten out the eye. It's going to make the eye look a lot larger um, rather than focusing on a really heavy outer corner. Now I'm going in with some concealer and I'm using the YSL Touche Eclair High Cover Concealer and I this concealer is so creamy it's so beautiful it's really really great so if you struggle to if you have dehydrated under eyes it's a really really beautiful concealer to use now i'm going to use the a little bit of the dior 4wo just kind of blending around those areas to to fuse my contour and my concealer together so that it creates a really nice seamless kind of 
face. Forget, don't forget the neck. We always gotta make sure that we our face matches the body, so always pop it a little bit under there, you know. Now I'm going in with my um, the Laura Mercier powder, translucent powder, and I'm just happy it in the center of the face. Again, I'm not gonna be afraid of powder today because this is the look that we're going for. It's the Kevin Aquan, you know, vibe. That's what we're doing. So I'm gonna smoke up the under eye now with that same shade that I used earlier from the Natasha Denona palette, the Magma, and I'm really building it up underneath the eye. So first of all, I use my little detailed blender and now I'm going in with my Define Liner brush and I'm really building it up. So I have a lot of color under there and that just kind of smokes up, sexies up the eye. And now I'm just dusting away that powder with my little highlight brush. Really love this little, it's like a bunny tail brush. And then um, I did powder a little bit on the lips to mattify the lips a little bit. It's gonna help my lip liner really stand out. Okay, so the first lip liner I went in with was the Foxy Brown Lip Liner by Charlotte Tilbury, but this was really ballsing up the texture. It was just not it. Now I don't know whether it's cause maybe the air had gotten to it, so I just, it was hard, but once I started, I just, you know, kept going. But it wasn't an easy pencil to work with. Um, the Charlotte Tilbury ones, I don't know, they're a bit of a hit and miss for me for the, the formula. Um, however, their colors are so good. Like the Foxy Brown shade is so nice. But I'm just kind of blending in around the lip line. Um, again, we're creating that 90s look so yeah, blending, blending with my little, this is my rescue sponger brush, um, which I also like to use for lips. Now I'm going in with, what shade is this? What is that? I think that, well, this is the same one, but now I'm like, oh, stressing out because the color is just not, it's just, yeah, look, I'm just being honest. It just wasn't, it looks nice on camera, but in person, it just was getting a little bit funny. So then I went in with, this is the Oak Lip Liner by MAC and just kind of blending it out because I was like trying to fix it. But then I was like, I don't want to remove it at this point because I've just, it's a really hard one to remove. And then I had to remove all the color around the lips. So just, I'm just trying to blend it out. Now for lipstick, I'm using Myth by MAC, which is a really good nude, if you want a nude. I used to wear this lip line, I mean the lipstick when I was, I don't know, what, 25. And it was like my go-to lip color, but I wouldn't wear any lip liner with it. So it was just like a foundation lip. I wouldn't suggest on day to day that, that's just not a vibe. So, but it works so well with like a darker lip liner. It just gives you the best fleshy tone lip. And going back in with the Oak Lip Pencil, just to kind of diffuse those two together. And yeah, I'm loving that, loving that vibe. Patting that lip down with my little powder puffs. If you haven't got these, honestly, they are the softest little puff. Really great for powdering. And then I'm just going in with the Vanilla Lip Glaze by Laura Mercier. Then I'm going in with the Gimme Sun Bronzer by MAC using my face powder brush. Now, if I could have only one bronzer, powder bronzer for the rest of my life, I think it'd be that one. It's so nice. I'm using the Dip Down Gel Liner just with my little angle brush and just filling out the little beauty spots and adding an extra one just because it's fun. And then going in with my second coat of mascara because I always like to do a second coat to really build up those lashes and fuse those eye, the lashes with the false lashes now she's pulling her hair out and honestly she had gotten bangs that week so this was our little debut of her bangs and what a showstopper she is honestly look at that how hot is she i couldn't even deal I wasn't even breathing when i was taking these videos stop bloody nut if you love this tutorial let me know leave a comment give us a like subscribe 
so I can keep bringing more of these tutorials.